Forbidden Forest is a game designed by Paul Norman, published by Cosme Corporation in 1983 for the Commodore 64 and Atari 8-bit family. The cassette tape release for the Commodore 64 is the first game to use the Novolode Fast Loader. Summary In this game the player controls an archer, armed with a bow and a limit of four quivers of arrows per level. The aim is to move through a forest setting while eliminating various monsters, including giant spiders, bees, mutated frogs, dragons, wizards and snakes, with the final enemy being the Demogorgon. The monsters were inspired by the film's Night of the Demon, Jason and the Argonauts and Mysterious Island. The game has four levels of difficulty Innocent, Trooper, Daredevil and Crazy which determine the number and speed of the monsters. This is one of the earliest video games to use animated blood. It also features parallax scrolling and a day-night cycle. Paul Norman began working for a small company named Synchro. It was a small software store creating Apple II, Victoria 20 and C64 software. Paul rented a vehicle and drove the 30 miles to apply for an advertised position with a game he had created for the Victoria 20. Paul successfully landed the position and began working on Forbidden Forest as a way of learning 6502 programming. The company that he was working for was going out of business and representatives from the software company Cosme arrived to purchase office furniture. They saw Paul working on Forbidden Forest and hired him on the spot. Development Forbidden Forest was designed by Paul Norman. Reception The game was positively received by the reviewer of your Commodore who gave it a score of four-fifths, saying that it was among my top five favorites. Although the graphics were not totally first class. The game was said to be amazing. In the first issue of ZZAP, 64 the game was placed 21st in a top 64 games list. ZZAP, 64 also favorably reviewed a budget re-release of Forbidden Forest. Although noting that the graphics were blocky they praised the game's atmosphere, soundtrack and gameplay. It was given an overall score of 82%. Topic. Sequels A sequel, Beyond the Forbidden Forest, was released in 1985. This was billed as Omnidimension 4D, as the game is a third-person shooter that allows the archer to move and shoot in and out of the foreground, with scenery changing from day to night in order to represent time passing. Again, the object is to eliminate monsters, giant scorpions, worms and mosquitoes etc. while wandering the forest, earning a golden arrow for each kill. After earning four arrows, the archer may enter the underworld to face bats, a hydra and finally the demogorgon itself. A further sequel, Forbidden Forest, informally, Forbidden Forest 3, was released for the PC in 2003, co-developed with Webfoot Technologies. This is a 3D adventure in which the aim is to explore an environment while searching for coins, collecting power-ups and facing recreations of villains from the first game. The release included the original Commodore 64 games. 